Hello everyone, my name is Kelly Blackwell. I am a realtor with the Ben Lobby Homes team of eXp Realty. And I wanted to touch on a topic that's coming up more and more lately. It is a topic from the past called love letters. And I don't know if you're familiar with that, but it is the concept that, in, that you want to write a letter as a buyer to the seller of a home that you're interested in that might tug at their heartstrings a little bit, which may give you an edge in getting your offer accepted. Now, it was more popular in the past and it kind of disappeared and it's coming back because so many buyers are finding themselves in multi-offer situations meaning because there's low inventory of homes on the market when a home comes up for sale their sellers are receiving four and five offers so buyers that we're working with are looking for a way to stand out and maybe get their offer accepted over someone else above and beyond the contract terms that they're presenting there are ways to structure a contract that might give you a boost over another offer, but they're still looking for other tools because it's such a challenge right now to get your offer to be the one accepted. So the problem is it dates back to the Fair Housing Act. And I'm just gonna read this briefly. The Fair Housing Act is a federal law enacted in 68 that prohibits discrimination in the purchase, sale, rental, or financing of housing, private or public, based on race, skin color, sex, nationality, or religion. It's been amended since then to include disability and family status. So here's where the problem comes in. A love letter seems harmless enough, but I'm gonna give a couple of examples here where it can lead to a problem. So let's say a buyer drafts a love letter that says, um, we really hope you'll consider our offer. We love your home. My husband and I can see ourselves raising our children here and can just see the children we're gonna have running down those stairs on Christmas morning to open their gifts. We really hope that you'll consider us because we've just fallen in love with your home. So that seems innocent and harmless enough. It tugs at the heartstrings, might make the seller say, mm, yeah, we kinda, they really want this place, right? Problem is, it just it hits on two pitfalls. One, familial status, meaning they're now revealing whether they have children now or not, that they want to have children, and so forth. Two, it talks about religion, meaning because they mention Christmas versus all the other possible holiday celebrations out there, right? And if a seller were to make a decision based on family, or religious status, that can be a fair housing violation. On the flip side, if someone writes a letter that says, I really love your home for the architectural features. I'm really into um, construction and architecture and the quality of construction is just incredible. I have to have your home. Well, that letter doesn't when you're talking about architecture and construction it has nothing to do with fair housing violation because it doesn't touch on any of the personal factors. So it is, is perfectly fine. So in short, um, love letters in and of themselves aren't bad. However, if you're going to create one, you should be very you should give a lot of thought to it and carefully craft it to make sure that you are not um, touching on any of those pitfall areas. And also know that you as a buyer are the only one who can write it. Your realtor should not be helping you with that creation and your realtor cannot deliver the letter. It must be sent direct from buyer to seller. So um, I hope this is helpful to you as you are out looking and hoping to buy your, your dream home. And uh, I wish you a great day today. Kelly Blackwell with eXp Realty. Bye-bye.